Beloved, it is another day. The Asian of days has given us a break. So beloved, we have to thank him for what he has done. So let us pray. I beseech thee, O Lord, the mighty Jehovah, the King of glory, for you have given us another day. For your mercy endure forever. I give you thanks and glory, the Lord of hosts. Mighty, mighty, mighty in power. It is only you alone that has done this. Thank you, miracle working God. You are worthy for giving us a breath and also a strength. It is only you that can do this for us. May your name be praised and may, you, may your name be adored. Thank you, thank you, immortal. We give you all your glory for giving us a day like this. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is set up. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, it is another day. And who has done this? He has given us another day like this, and also a breath, and also a strength. He is an awesome God. I take this opportunity to greet the viewers, the listeners that listen to end time prophets. Prophet, keep on watching. And may God bless your heart desire. And may God protect you and your family. May God bless you all. Amen. Beloved, it is another day. And he has given us a word. And the title of the message is, Fear not them which kill the body. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. So without wasting time, we will go to our first reading. That is Exodus, the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20, that is the Ten Commandments. And I'll read three to five. Let us hear the word of God. Verse three says, Thou shalt have no other God besides me. Dash four, thou shalt not make unto thee any grieving image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, nor that is in the earth beneath, nor that is in the water under the earth. The last verse on Exodus 25. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, I am a jealous God, visiting iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. This is those who practice. And when the word then, beloved, let us classify it. It means all that powers, familiar spirits, witches, wizards, ungodly, fetish, all of them. This is what the Bible is telling us. So beloved, he said, the last verse, unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. If you hate him, you are doing your own thing. He created you to come and serve him, not to serve this iniquity, not to serve ungodly, not 
to save familiar spirits. So this is why he is telling you and I this morning. Beloved, we will continue. We will go to the book of Leviticus. Leviticus 19 and the verse is four. Let us hear the word of God. Say ye not unto Adam, nor make to yourself immortal gods. I am the Lord your God. He said we shouldn't say this. And they are nothing but filthy before him. He is telling us this morning that we shouldn't bow before this immortal. He is telling us this morning. They are nothing. Wooden images. They can't even talk. They cannot help you. So he is telling us in Leviticus that we shouldn't. Our Lord, our God, our Almighty, he created you and I. So why are you practicing witchcraft? Why are you trying to do things that God hates? And the more you practice all this, you are an enemy to our King, our Lord, our Savior. So let us know this. We continue. Our next scripture is taken to Matt from Matthew 10, 7 and 8. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Matthew 10, 7 and 8. And I read. This is by the king, the owner of life. Our Lord, our Savior, he is telling us this. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is end time. We have to preach the word of God. Not to do any witchcraft. So those who are practicing it. Christ is warning you this morning. It is only his word. It is in any witchcraft. You will end up into the darkness because you practice evil. Verse eight, heal the sick, cleanse the leopard, raise the dead, cast out the devils. Really? Ye have received, freely give. He mentioned here what? The devils. You think you are doing this in the darkness. It is not good. So he is saying that those who do this, practice witchcraft, witchcraft, familiar spirit, wizard, he will deal with you all. At the end, it is nothing but destruction. So beloved, it is time to turn things around. Those who are doing this, you are an enemy to our king. Hallelujah. We continue. The same Matthew 10, 26 to 28. Let us hear the word of God. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 27 says, when I tell you in the darkness, that speak ye in the light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the house top. 29, and fear them, not which kill the body, but they are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both the soul and the body 
in hell. Beloved, Christ is saying, we shouldn't fear the witches and the wizard as the son of the most high God. We shouldn't because the owner of life is telling you and I. But rather, we should fear the one who killed the body and the soul. And it is only Christ that does that. The witches and the wizards, they think they can kill the body. But Christ is telling us we shouldn't fear them. Evil belongs to them. They have to know that everything they do in darkness, it does expose in the light. So witches and wizards, today, throw your witches away. The wizard, throw your wizard away. Those who have familiar spirit, it is time to deal with it and throw it away because it's heading you to nowhere but hell. Hallelujah. We continue with the same, another scripture, which is Leviticus 20 and the verse is 14. Hallelujah. Let us hear the word of God. This is an another abomination that God, he hates. And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is a wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and them, that there will be no wickedness among you. Beloved, when you practice this, Christ has seen you. It is time to stop. It is wickedness. It is an evil. So today, the message has come. Anything which is evil, Christ is warning us. It is time to stop. Witchcraft, familiar spirit, is not going to take you to anywhere. So why don't you throw all these things away? The fetish. All this is ungodly to our king of glory. Hallelujah. We continue with our last scripture. That is Luke 10. Hallelujah. This is Luke 10, 19. Let us see what Christ is saying over here. This is by him. Behold, I give unto you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. So the witches and the wizard, children of the most high God, we are not afraid. Satan and his demons, all their devices, Christ is saying, he has given us a power. He has the power, so he has given it to his children. And the more we pray eagerly, nothing can hurt us. So he is telling us all powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. So the witches and the wizard, you think you will do the evil, but the day is coming. You will hurt to nowhere but hell. So it is time to change your way, to change your thoughts and throw that evil, the witches, throw it away. God is in control. So this morning he said, we shouldn't fear you. That's why he said, fear not them which kill the body. It is only him, the savior, the one who paid the price for us, who died on the cross for mankind. 
So the witches, the message has come for you. The wizard, the message has come for you. Those with familiar spirit, the message has come for you. Those with the fetish, the message has come for you. And those ungodly, wickedness, the message has come. It is time to change your thought and come to Christ because all these cannot take you anywhere. He is in charge. And the more you change your mind, he will receive you. Your powers are powerless because Christ is in control. We give him all his glory for this morning, for giving us a message like this. May his name be adored because he is in control over our lives. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, everlasting to everlasting God. Only him alone is worthy to be praised and to worship. Beside him, everything is useless. We thank you, miracle working God. We thank you, covenanted God. We thank you, agent of days, for giving us a breath and also the strength that we are still breathing. You alone is worthy to do this. May your name be adored. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. Spirit of the living God, you have waked us up. We thank you and thank you and thank you, and we love you. May you bless your end time prophet, the wife, the children, and also his viewers that avail themselves in a daily basis to listen, protect them, and guide them. Forever, O oh Lord, your word has come forth. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come forth forever and forever. Amen.